Sinead O'Connor joked that she wanted to stay alive long enough so Bono wouldn't get the chance to speak at her funeral. She teased that she had to outlive the U2 star as she didn't want him bleating on about her being a national treasure at her service. The tragic singer was laid to rest today, with friend Bono and Sir Bob Geldof leading the emotional mourners. Tragic Sinead passed away last month at the age of 56 and following years of mental health and drug addiction struggles. Her death also came a year after the heartbreaking suicide of her 17-year-old son, Shane, whose death she struggled to cope with. The star, who has changed her name to Shuhada Davit after converting to Islam, tweeted, You want to know what finally stops me whenever I feel suicidal, rarely, since 2016, ain't done anything silly since then, is the idea Bono might speak at my funeral. She said, Sinead Magda, Shuhada, what's her name? Oh, wasn't she just so much trouble? Girls are supposed to be beautiful and sexy and all of that stuff. But oh, didn't we love her national treasure, bleh. Reasons for living, definitely best reason for living. Must stay alive longer than Bono. Sorry Bono, but I couldn't F asterisk 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 G resist. The Nothing Compares to You singer then filmed herself mimicking her fellow Irish rock star. Sinead and the Irish band had a close relationship over the years with the group in attendance today to pay their respects. A private service took place on Tuesday, ahead of a funeral procession that passed along the seafront in Bray, where the singer had lived for 15 years. The singer's family released a statement ahead of the funeral proceedings to inform fans of plans. They wrote, With this procession, her family would like to acknowledge the outpouring of love for her from the people of Company Wicklow and beyond, since she left last week to go to another place. Slan Leet, Mia Go, Maya Salama, a host of celebrities were at the service to bid farewell to the tragic singer. Sir Bob Geldof arrived wearing dark sunglasses and a black suit on Tuesday morning. Bono and bandmate Edge both wore black and looked downcast as they arrived at Collier's funeral home in Bray. Liam O'Maunlai, lead singer of the Irish rock band Hot House Flowers, was among those mourning. Ahead of the funeral, the 58-year-old singer passed by the former home of Sinead. Speaking to the PA news agency, Liam said, The career-minded, musicians, who stay within a parameter of what they're told to do. They find a formula and they stick to it. She didn't do that. He also said that he last spoke to O'Connor at a birthday party, either last year or the year before. Ireland's president, Michael D. Higgins, also attended the ceremony. He said, The outpouring of grief and appreciation of the life and work of Sinead O'Connor demonstrates the profound impact which she had on the Irish people. The unique contribution of Sinead involved the experience of a great vulnerability combined with a superb, exceptional level of creativity that she chose to deliver through her voice, her music and her songs. The expression of both, without making any attempt to reduce the one for the sake of the other, made her contribution unique, phenomenal in music terms, but of immense heroism. However, Achieving this came from the one heart and the one body and the one life, which extracted an incredible pain, perhaps one too much to bear. That is why all those who are seeking to make a fist of their life, combining its different dimensions in their own way, can feel so free to express their grief at her loss.